WFH. Are you working from home? A healthy, high-performing home office is no longer just a temporary objective. Many of us are now working from home full-time, and based on my own client requests this past year, many of you might be in need of some upgrades. Maybe all you have is a little nook for your home office, or maybe it's your dining room table, or maybe you're lucky enough to have a dedicated private room for your office. Either way, you'll need this list. From crappy chairs to ergonomic seating and beyond, I think your productivity is about to go through the roof. Let's review my top five list of home office essentials. Name any room in your home and tell me storage doesn't make a difference. Storage always makes a difference. A home office is no different. And yes, we're in a so-called paperless world, but we're also in a world where we just have stuff. And stuff laying around can be distracting and counterproductive. The key is to know what kind of storage suits you best. Are you a filer or are you a piler? Maybe all you need is what's known as a pedestal file cabinet, like this one, with wheels so you can move it to where it's most convenient, even if it's at your kitchen table. I'm loving this idea because you can get really creative with colors. This one is from a company called Poppin. It could be just one file drawer incorporated into a built-in desk. It's great that you can hide away something like a file cabinet in your home and not make it look so office-like. Maybe you're a piler like me. Then you'll need something more like a bookcase or shelves where you can stay organized. I love open shelving like this. Some of us just need to see our stuff. Out of sight, out of mind, that's not a good thing. I'm loving this idea. Incorporate your piles into your desk. This gives you easy access and yet it's off the desk and even better, off the floor. Also, how about storing ideas? I love having a visual display of what I'm working on. A pin board is a great idea. I store lots of ideas, samples, and inspiration on mine. It's an ever-evolving display of what I'm working on in my head. Maybe a whiteboard or a blackboard is better suited for you. I know so many of you are working from a laptop because laptops are very popular these days and have been for a while. A full day on your laptop is seriously hurting you in ways you may not realize. Neck, back, and eye strain are a huge problem when you don't have a monitor placed at the right ergonomic height. Laptops weren't meant for eight hour days of you looking down at this weird angle. Neither was your neck. If you're using a laptop for your home office setup, save yourself the pain by integrating a second computer monitor on an adjustable arm. We're all made in different sizes and shapes, so the adjustability will help you get the perfect monitor position for you and your neck and your back and your eyes. Your monitor should be directly in front of you and the top line of the text on the monitor should be situated just below your eye level. This one is from a company called HumanScale. I'll link it below. Your back, neck and eyes will love you for it. The next most essential item on my list is lighting. Lighting plays such an important role in your home office, primarily task lighting. Task lights are meant to give you light right where you are working, so a table lamp is key. You'll want an adjustable table lamp where you can adjust the amount and direction of light throughout the day. This Tolomeo light is great because you can adjust the head of the light to avoid screen glare. Glare on your screen can cause headaches and eye strain but any adjustable lamp would work and you know there's so much out there to choose from. Here are a few of my favorites. Placing your desk near a window is also super beneficial. Natural light has shown to improve mood, energy, alertness, and productivity. The next most important part of a high-performing home office is the desk. You'll want a surface that allows plenty of space for your computer and keyboard directly in front of you and a mouse along the side. You'll also want a desk that has enough surface for your laptop, computer, monitor, keyboard, etc. And has plenty of clear knee space below. Sitting at a desk properly, ergonomically, depends on your body's measurements as well as the chair you're using. Ideally, if you want the most ergonomic desk setup, you'll want to follow these guidelines. You can pause the video here to check it out more closely. 
And you'll notice there are guidelines for standing desks too. Research shows that sitting for long periods of time are linked to higher risk of obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. We're just not meant to sit all day long. Standing desks were initially thought to better those risks, but have actually shown minimal improvement. However, the best part about standing desks are that when you're standing, you're not sitting. So that helps. So sit stand desks have become hugely popular in recent years. This is the float desk from HumanScale. Although even Ikea now has sit stand desks too. And finally, the number one most important essential for a high performing home office is your chair. And if you're sitting at your desk for long periods of time, it really should be an ergonomic task chair. Forget this type of chair or this. They might look great, but they are not suited for long periods of sitting and they don't offer very much adjustability. I know I'm sad too. Again, going back to our ergonomic setup, right angles are super important. Keeping your waist, knees, and elbows at 90 degree angles helps maintain your overall posture in alignment. You'll want your spine to be in a neutral position. I'll link a video below that will help explain how to set up your ideal ergonomic sitting position. One of the best chairs that ranks high is the famous Herman Miller Aeron chair. Once you know it, you'll notice it in many movies and TV shows. So yes, it's famous but also it's just really well designed. It's become the gold standard for ergonomic chairs. And though it is on the pricey end of things, consider it an investment in your health and well-being. It will last you for years and will always put you in control of your own comfort. Here's the chair I usually sit on. It's the sail chair from Herman Miller. I also love the leap office chair from Steelcase. And just recently, the strategist from New York Magazine ranked the best ergonomic chairs according to chiropractors and an orthopedic surgeon. I'll link the article below. They've got great recommendations for all sorts of chairs, including the best, most affordable task chair, the Modway Articulate Ergonomic Mesh Office Chair. And bonus points, it looks a lot like that Aeron chair. Whichever task chair you get, look for options such as lumbar support, vertically adjustable arms, synchronous recline, seat depth adjustment, and height adjustment to make sure you have the most flexible seat you can possibly have. A task chair that offers flexibility to support your body's needs is most important to keep you comfortable and engaged in your work. So here's your takeaway. If you're finding working from home has become your new normal, it's time to invest in some home office essentials. Storage can mean lots of different things, so make sure you find something that helps you most with organization, whether that's paper or your own ideas. A monitor arm helps you maintain better posture, while the best task light will focus your attention where it needs to be. And finally, the right desk and task chair combination will provide you with the best ergonomic setup. It's really the most important aspect of a high performing office and will make you a super performer too. Thanks for watching this little design tip. We'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. If you're doing the whole WFH thing, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your home office setup. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you soon. Hey everyone, I've started a Patreon account. If you'd like to follow me there or become a patron, I would appreciate that very, very much. You can find the link in the description below, or you can just head over to patreon.com slash Thanks for watching and supporting my channel.